Hi everyone, in this video I'll walk you through how I created this realistic AK-47 from scratch. So let's get started. Just delete the cube and lights and let's add our references. I found those cool looking references online, so let's just add them. Alright, before we start throwing around vertices, let's actually take a moment to dissect the reference. I've gone ahead and highlighted each key part of the gun. This makes it way easier to spot which sections needs new geometry. Starting with the magazine, I'm gonna start with a simple plane and let's move the vertices to match the shape. Then we're gonna add a loop cut in the middle of the plane and just bevel it to make it curved. Then we're gonna just move the vertices around for uniform distribution. So let's repeat this process for the grip. Let's add a plane and then just move the vertices to match the grip of the gun. We're gonna add uh, extra geometry by extruding if needed. And uh, we don't need to get the exact shape right as we're gonna use a subdivision modifier which is gonna smooth everything out. For this small part, just shift D the top vertices, then separate and extrude it up to match the shape. Now let's just repeat this process of extruding and outlining for the stock and other major parts of the model. Now let's extrude the outlines we have for the model. To make the curved top part, we are gonna get the plane and mirror it on the other side using the body as the mirror object. Then we'll connect the top vertices, bevel them slightly and adjust the shape to match our reference. Then hit F to fill the empty faces at the back. Now extrude the stock and to match the smooth shape from the reference let's add a subdivision modifier and throw in some loop cuts to get better control on the shape. Now let's do the same thing for the grip, extrude and refine the subdivision modifier with loop cuts. Now let's align the parts in the middle and let's continue outlining the rest of the weapon. As usual just get your plane, trace the shape, then extrude and subdivide. I added little bumps since they're clearly visible in the reference. I copied the top uh, faces and inverted them on the z-axis so I can just extrude them for the top parts. To make these bumps steeper, I've added some uh, supporting loop cuts which make it look more prominent. For this plastic part, add a circle, align it with the wooden piece which I had a nightmare trying to make more circular. Then move the bottom vertices of the circle down. Then just grid fill and extrude it outwards. To make the barrel it's pretty simple, just add a cylinder and then match the shape. And for this funky looking shape, uh, if you're using a cylinder you'll get some really ugly shading artifacts. So just grab a cube and subdivide it and shape it manually to the shape you're looking for. And after you match the reference, bevel those edges to get the sharp and clean look you see there. Now to make a hole for the rest of the barrel, We'll select the parallel faces, then just using loop tools, we're gonna make it a circle and then we're gonna bridge it and align any overlapping vertices by pressing G twice and then moving it out the way. Now add a cylinder for the rest of the barrel and just match the reference and we're gonna extrude this bit outwards and make the top few vertices flat by scaling them on the Z axis by zero. Now for this metal part, it's not really visible in the reference, so let's try our best to make it similar. So as usual, get your plane, outline, and then just extrude. And let's also make this wooden part flatter by just doing an edge crease on this part. Now for this metal part, just grab the vertices from nearby object, separate them, and fill in the faces. Then extrude the whole thing on the other side by negative one so it goes to the other side and then we're gonna add some loop cuts and make sure to add an edge crease on the on both ends then we add a subdivision modifier now we're just gonna add this little part here now we're gonna make the muzzle let's get a circle just keep extruding and scaling outwards till we get the shape we're looking for okay for this part let's make the front side of the gun i spent way too much time on this for some reason <laughs> It's an easy task, but uh, just grab a cylinder and get the top faces, move them up. And then we're gonna try to make the shape of the iron sights. And then 
I've deleted the middle faces and just uh, filled them manually as uh, I had trouble filling them. So yeah, we're gonna ignore that. Then just keep adjusting the shape using proportional editing and you're done. Okay, now let's add the thing at the bottom of the barrel. I don't know the name of it. It's just like, yeah, it looks nice. So let's add it. Okay, we're just gonna match the shape in the reference and that's it. And also we're gonna add just a little hole in the middle. So it looks super realistic. Okay, now let's make the trigger plain outline and then just extrude it in. Uh, there's like a small rectangle on the sides, just like instead of extruding the plane all the way, just mirror it on the other side and connect the two things together. Now moving on to the little trigger, the, the thing, yeah. So you just get a plane and outline it and yeah, that's it, it's an easy task. There's like a slight bump on the side. Let's add it and then just join the missing faces by just deleting the faces and merging the the missing ones. Now we're going to move on to the details no one looks at, but look really nice. So we're going to add this little thing at the top. If you see it, the top right reference. So I got other references so we can see the top part more clearly. So what I did was get a cylinder, select the outer faces, and then do a checker, deselect, and I scaled them down to get this nice looking shape for the bolts. Then I beveled them. So let's get a circle, let's grid fill it, and then select the area which I want to extrude in, and bevel it, then extrude. Now let's make the rest of the muzzle by adding a cube, and then just Mirroring it on the other side, connecting both sides, and then extrude the thing inside or something. I don't know. Yeah, just try to match the shape. Now let's add like random bolts in the gun. Uh, circle, and then just fill it and extrude it out outwards, then bevel. And then just move it around the whole model and mirror it to the other side. And let's add more details in the model. As you can see, if we look closely at the reference, we can see like uh, this little thing. I don't know what's the name of it, but let's just make it. Yeah, so we get a, a plane, subdivide it, and then just match the shape and take a look at both references to understand how it looks like as the reference we're using is not the best. And at the top of the grip, you can see that there's like this little crack. Let's make it. Yeah, so we just beveled it and then deleted the area where there's the cuts. Now let's make the little metal thing uh, on the sides. It's like, get a square, just extrude it a bit, and yeah, you're done. <laughs> you can do this part using uh, a plane too, but I've used like a curve, and then I just uh, extruded the curve outwards to make the lines on the grip. And yeah, we're done with the 3D modeling of the AK-47. So for the texturing, I, I've done the textures in uh, Substance Painter. It's really easy, just open Substance Painter, just put the materials on and you're done. <laughs> Before we do that, you have to UV unwrap your uh, model. If you need a tutorial on that, just write me a comment and I'll do one for you. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to see future ones and bye bye.